What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Autodesk Fusion 360 quick tutorial for you. So this is kind of a new series that I wanted to do. I wanted to do a series where we kind of walk through different kinds of shapes as kind of example files for things that you can use to improve your skills when working in Fusion 360. So to start this series off, we're going to start with the shape that you see in the gym, which is a dumbbell shape. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so I like this shape because it's symmetric and it's a fairly easy place to start, but it really gives us an idea of how we can use the different tools in order to reduce our modeling to the minimum necessary. And so what we're going to start off with is we're going to start by modeling out one of the weights on the side. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to create a sketch. So you're going to click on create sketch. You're going to find the plane that you want to draw along, which in this case is the one running along the blue axis, and we're going to click on it. And then from there, we want to go find the... From there, we want to go find the circumscribed polygon tool. And so that's going to allow us to draw a polygon based on a center point and an edge. And so we want to go find our center point, which is right here. Then we want to move our mouse down. And because the dimensions I'm using are in inches, we want to make sure that this is also in inches. And so we want our full diameter to be 3.75. So in this situation, we're going to type in 3.75, but we want this to be, we want the radius to be half of that. So we're going to type in a divided by and a two, and then hit the enter key. And so what that'll do is that'll figure out what half of that is, and that'll put this in here with no problems. And so now we're going to click on the button for finish sketch. So the overall width of this weight is going to be about two and a half. So we're just going to type in a value of 2.5. and then click OK. And so what we have now is we have a very like rough dumbbell shape, but usually what happens with the dumbbell is these get tapered in a little bit. And so in order to create that taper, what we want to do is we want to add a chamfer. So what a chamfer is going to do is a chamfer is going to go through and it's going to not round off this edge, but it's almost as if we took a sliver of this off um, all the way around here in order to give it kind of the tapered look. So we're going to click on the option for chamfer and it's going to ask us for the edges to chamfer. And so one easy way to do this is just to drag a box here, then hold the shift key and drag a box here. So we have all 12 of these selected and then we can set our chamfer. So in this case, I'm assuming our chamfer is gonna be about a half inch. So depending on the weight involved, this might be a little bit different, but we're just gonna type in a value of 0.5. And you can see how we were able to chamfer on either side here. And if you don't like the angle that this chamfer is down, you could always adjust the distance and angle in here. I'm okay with what we have, so I think we're gonna be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. So that's given us the weight part of our dumbbell. So now what we need to do is we need to come in here and we need to model the central um, handle piece. And so we're just gonna create a sketch on this face. And we're just gonna draw a circle. And this is asking for the diameter of my circle. So in this case, the overall diameter of my circle is 1.22 inches. So I'm gonna type that in here and I'm gonna hit okay and we can click on the button for finish sketch. And so you could make this more complex by coming in here and drawing the uh, profile if this had a contour or something like that. Um, in this situation, I'm just gonna extrude this to length and we're gonna keep it simple. But if you did wanna draw out the contouring, what I would do is I would draw it in here as a sketch, and then I'd use the revolve tool to extrude that in a circle. But I'm just gonna take this circle and I'm just going to extrude it out five inches. And so you can see how now we have one weight on this side and we have our handle. And so we could come in here and remodel this if we wanted to, but that would be a lot of extra work. So it's gonna be a lot easier if we use the mirror function in order to mirror this so that it's repeated on the other side of the shape. And so the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna use the mirror tool. But before we do that, we need a plane that we can mirror across. And so for that plane, what we wanna do and I'm gonna go back real quick and I'm gonna right click on this extrusion because this joined this into this body and we don't necessarily want that. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna edit this feature and note that you can go back and make changes in your timeline down at the bottom of the page to things that you did. So for example, this was our extrusion where we extruded this handle out. Well, I wanna change this operation to new body instead of join. You can see how now I have a body for my weight 
and I have a body for my handle. So I'm gonna turn off my weight for a second and we're gonna add a midplane. So a midplane is gonna allow us to find the point between these two ends. So in this situation, what that means is I'm gonna click once here and once here with the midplane tool active and you can see how that's gonna set a plane right in the middle of my handle. Well now, I can come in here and I can go to create, mirror, and I wanna select an object, a mirror, which is gonna be the body making up my weight, and I wanna select the plane, which is the thing we're gonna mirror it across. So in this situation, the plane is gonna be this mid plane right here. And you can see how this mirrors this directly across, so now we have both sides of our dumbbell. So now we're gonna come in here, we're gonna click on OK. So when we click on the button for OK, you can see how what this does is this mirrors this across this central plane. And so there's some other things we could do in here as well. So like for example, we could sketch on this face and give it kind of a recess and put a number in here. I think for the purpose of this exercise, we're gonna call this good. But if you're interested in learning how to do that next part, let me know and I can make another video on it. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Do you like this series idea? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.